All right, welcome to North Star Angling out here on the Mississippi River, October 7th, for a week into October. Just a beautiful, such a beautiful day. Colors are really just starting to starting to go this week. Of course, I had the day off to fish, so naturally it's windy as hell. Um, but it's an easy enough thing on the river to tuck out, you know, in the backwaters and the channels up at the dam and stuff. Uh, gonna do kind of the multi-species thing today. Got a bucket of fat heads and some jigs. So that means, uh, you know, anything could be game. Some drop shot rigs rigged up. At the moment, and I've actually got a gob of fat heads on a circle. I just threw uh, some fat heads out on this current seam while I was rigging up here, but I don't know how much catting I'll actually do. Maybe some, I'll be down at the confluence later, and certainly I'll certainly try it. A little bit down there. Uh, my buddy Invicta Ryan, Ryan Johnson, on-air representative for Invicta Watches, will be joining me in, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, something like that, whenever he gets here. And uh, we'll just give the river a good shot. And see if we can pull out of here. Hey, yeah, be sure to subscribe down below. More Star Angling work in the Metro here. Walleyes, bass, pike, and catfish, and uh, all the fun stuff. Let's uh, see what happens here. All right, Ryan is here. He's got a little walleye on the drop shot and the fat head with his Invicta. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Hang on, let's unhook it. All right, another monster in the boat here. Ooh, just shaking him up off the island. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh, did you get him? No. Oh, no. Oh, he snagged me too. No, no. Boy, we're, the big ones are cranking today. Y'all even let him have that. No. Just for playing. But look, this one's been snagged into by a pike here. But, uh, all right. There's another one, huh? We need some bigger ones, though. It's fun to be playing, huh? Let's see. All right, we left the dam area, came down river. RJ jigged up a crappie right as we're, look, there's a whole bunch of, yeah. look at all that fish on there. So, sweet crappie right away. First of many. I put a uh, gob of fat heads in front of the tree, see if there's any cats home, and see what happens. You're on. All right, that didn't take long, as it usually doesn't if there's home. I don't know how big it feels, I'm just catching up to it, but the gob of fat heads right in front of the tree there. Here she comes, here she comes. Well, it feels nice. It's not very big, but after those little walleyes all day, I mean, it's not bad. Excuse yep. me. Excuse me. Hey there. Now that was funny. That was fast. That was fast. Yeah, if they're, when they're home, it doesn't take them long. Nice chunky guy, probably five or six pounder. I'll have to, uh, so wow, right here, we've got a crappie and a cat, and we haven't been here five minutes. And uh, one sec. All right, all right, back she goes, see if we can pull another one off that tree there. Oh, she was ready to rock, huh? <laughs> Sweet. Look at that. RJ's bringing them in. But hey, we've got the catfish, the crappie, and the walleye from the same yeah. spot here. That's good. So that's good cool. Just a little, little drop shot, Walter action. Yep. All right. Awesome. All right, we got another one coming in. Didn't take too long. It's another one that's not exactly huge, I don't think, but it feels a little better than the last one. Guessing more than five pounds? Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's bigger. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that all night long. Second one off the old tree there. Boy, hello there. Man, it's great to be catching catfish into October. Look at that, that's a fat one. He's been chowing down. And Billy and him. All right, sorry, one sec here. I'm going to get him unhooked. All right, sweet. Cat number two. Bye bye, guy. Like the exact same size as that first one. Woo. Man. Oh, yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit better, I think. Alright, catfish number three off that tree back there. Yeah, this one's got, this one's gonna have a little more meat on it. Not that I'm not happy with it. 
This is awesome October catfishing. More what we're looking for. <laughs> Oh goodness. This one's got some real weight on it. <laughs> oh yeah. Almost. <laughs> Can't quite lift it. <laughs> Ever mention how much I like catfishing? I think you have. Oh my goodness. Boy, it's just nothing else with that kind of strength in the river. Oh, there we go. There she is. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. <laughs> there we go. That's a little more what we're looking for. How you doing there? That one's over 10, I'll bet. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Sweet. Digging the, digging the cat action here, this is great. Putting on the, the feed bag, eh? There he goes. Sweet. Still here. All right. RJ getting in on the cat oh, action. there we go. He's giving a little bit of a fight now. Keep your rod tip up. Up, up. Jeez. There we go. Make him fight the rod. Okay, now he's... <laughs> now ah, we're rocking and rolling. Ah, he's getting to the business end. Boy, this is four. Right? Now he's digging good. Oh my God. <laughs> he didn't feel that big at first. Well, I, had to catch, I, I had to catch up to it. But I think you've caught up to it. Make sure my rod's all right. Yep. <laughs> RJ might be into a good one here. I think I might. It's definitely more than five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> this is even more exciting than that crappie. Oh, my. oh here we go. Oh, you see right it? tip up. Oh, tip up. There we go. Let's see. You can bring him up here. That's... You probably don't have to reel anymore. Okay. You just lift him. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, look at that in the water. That's so cool. Right, I'll get the net for you. Okay. One second. Yeah, let's see. All right, here's RG. 18 pounds on the Woo! scale, a little bit, just between 18 and 19. 19. It's not a digital scale, so it's not exact, but but he's a. <laughs> That's he, the biggest one I've caught. He's a big boy. Yeah. Is that your biggest non-ocean fish? Correct. Here, turn it, turn it one more time. Let's see right. it from the side. And hey, if you were to lay it on that ruler there, yep. Put its nose right here at the one. We're looking. Is that good right there? Yeah. Okay, back here I can't quite see. 29, 30. Right there, about 30 inches yeah. or so. Cool. Now just lay it over the side and keep holding on to the tail. We we'll just lay it right there. You just pull your other hand out and just let it uh, kind of catch its breath. What a. That's a nice one. Boy, it's just been the, the year of the big catfish. October even. This is great we didn't do this so late. I can't believe it yeah. hasn't taken off and just soaked you. Not yet. He's getting Because <laughs> when it's ready. Must have been Terry. The head on that thing. Bye bye. Thanks for playing.
See you later. Woohoo! Nice! <laughs> awesome! Woohoo! Alright, well, that's about all she wrote. We cut a couple more little crappies on the way back to the marina, but uh, that was the gist of the thing. Hey, what a great day it turned into being. A few crappies to start with. Uh, some wallies up at the dam, and then so thrilled to be able to play the cat game uh, this late in the season. I'm gonna hit that deep wood a little harder next time I'm down here. And RJ got that 18 pounder, so uh, thrilled for him. Great, just what we were hoping for. Just fantastic. Love the river in the fall, huh? All right, thanks for tuning in to uh, North Star Amy, and uh, working the metro here bass, walleye, spike, catfish, whatever we can find and scrounge up, huh? Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.